Breaking down the trailer of Adi Purush. The film has been directed by Om Rao. It's been produced by Bhushan Kumar and stars Prabhas, Priti Sanon, and Saif Ali Khan in the leads. Now, when the teaser had come out about seven months ago, there was huge furor and outrage, and the makers then had reassured the audience that don't worry, we're going to take your feedback and work on it. And seven months later, there is that reworked trailer. Now, starting off with point number one, Saif Ali Khan's depiction as Ravan had created a lot of outrage back then for his stylized beard, his outfits, and basically his entire look. People said did not sit in with the idea that they had of Ravan. Now, the makers have minimized the look of Ravan in the trailer. At least you don't get to see much of him; just a couple of glimpses, and none of that stylized beard for one. Number two, Kriti Sanon was clad in purple in the teaser, and believe it or not. Many had an objection to that color. They were seeing red. They were asking why was there no saffron in it. So then now we have Priti Sanon clad purely in saffron as Sita. That's point number two. Number three. There was also a lot of outrage about sort of leather accessories they were used. They said this is not Indian. It's looking Roman. It's looking Greek. These sort of armors, but uh, that those haven't been reworked upon much. Number four. There was actually a petition filed asking. Why are these actors not wearing a jineu? Makers haven't taken that into account. Even in the trailer, you don't see any of them sporting that jineu. Number five, and most importantly, there's so much trolling over the sort of VFX we saw in the trailer, right? Many said it looks like some rejected copies of Planet of the Apes and whatnot. And good news, they have corrected the VFX. They've greatly improved upon them. But however, the nowhere as close to the standard that's been set by a Bahubali or even by a Brahmastra. Now, when you come to the outrage that was caused after the teaser, to the sort of appreciation that's come after the trailer, why is that? Well, the makers have actively worked towards this. They've made sure that they profess their love for the Rama and their love for the gods in order to soothe the people. They've commemorated festivals such as Ram Navmi by releasing the look of Kriti Sanon as Sita, for instance. They even went and met MP Home Minister Narottam Mishra. He was a prominent voice who had raised objections against the trailer, and now he's even singing. A pra- uh, sorry, he had raised objections against the teaser. And now he's even singing praises of the trailer. And most importantly, they reached out to the fans and made sure that that adulatory excitement was built up even before the launch of the trailer. And now the trailer has been received rather well.